Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to go through conditional formatting. Before we get started, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much in advance and off we go. Conditional formatting for scorecards. All you have to do, you select the scorecard. So here I'm going to click on sessions. You go on the right hand side, you click on style and here you're going to see conditional formatting. So all you have to do is to click on add and let's create a conditional formatting. For example, we can say that if the sessions are, let's say, less than 10,000, then something will happen and then we can change the color of the font or the background. So we say the background is going to be, let's say, red. And I'm going to save. And now the sessions are not actually less than 10,000. Let's actually change this rule. So we edit and then we're going to say 30,000. We're going to save. And voila, here we have the sessions background is red. So you can change the background or you can change the fonts or both. That's how easy it is. Now, let's say you want to do the same for tables. So here I have this table and I want to add conditional formatting. Same drill. So you select the table, you go on the right hand side, you click on style, you find conditional formatting, you click add. And then once you click add, you need to give the rule. You can say, for example, here that when sessions, and here we need to select the metric because we have two columns, sessions and users. So you say when sessions, for example, are greater than a thousand. Let's do something different. This time we're going to change the fonts in dark green and the background is going to be light green. And now we're going to save. And that's it. You can see here that we have conditional formatting. You can apply more than one rule. So for example, here I can say that when sessions above 1000, everything becomes green. And I can add another rule. And I can say when sessions, for example, are less than 1000, then everything here becomes red. So the fonts are red and then the background is red and then we save. So now we see that we have two rules and the same way you can have two rules in tables, you can have two or more rules in scorecards. That's it. That's how easy it is to apply conditional formatting on Looker Studio. I hope you like the video and you solve this problem. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye everyone.